So here's how you do morphing. You create a shape on a screen and then you copy that and then you go ahead and paste that particular PowerPoint slide there and then you take the object and this is the object that's going to be morphed. So we'll change it and maybe we'll skew it and maybe we'll even make it a different color. Uh, how about gray? And then as we watch, you can see that the object oh, did not morph, right? It just jumped. So how do we morph it? Well, we go to this particular screen here and we go to transitions and then we click on morph. And what this will do, as you can see here, is change the item over time, which is really kind of a nice feature if you want to call attention to something. And boom, we've got that little morph. Now we can also do this. Let's say we've got this morph and we can copy it again and we can even change it again. So we can kind of do a continuous morph here. Let's uh, change this a little bit. Let's turn it on its side. Let's go ahead and make it a different color. And now we have these three morphs in a row. So we've got this goes ahead and morph. And then when I hit click, then it morphs again. So it automatically sets up these. And you might say, well, that's great, Carl, but what am I really going to use that for for my presentations? But here's an example of a morphing presentation. Let me move this down here. And we've got these passports. And again, maybe we're talking about, you know, what's passport? What country are you from? Choose your passport. Maybe I'm from the UK. I click on that and notice this is the morph function. It took that small passport and made it into a larger passport. As we can see here, this is just a la large object using morph. So that's one way to use morph. Another really interesting way to use morph is to actually change things on the screen. Again, it's a shortcut to animation. So for example, here maybe I have some things that you need to take with you or you need to know when you're traveling. I've got hand soap and all that kind of stuff. And if I click, notice it moves the whole object up and now I can just focus on hand sanitizer. How do you do that? Well, on the first screen, you simply put the object on the screen that you want to have. In this case, we used Smart Art and we did a little object. But then on the next screen, you actually move that off of the screen itself and only leave what you want. And that gives the effect of it moving off the screen. Again, you've got to make sure you have the morph transition to make that work. But when we do that, notice what happens. I've got my items. I can be talking about them and then say, let's focus in on hand sanitizer. And notice what happens. It goes ahead and shows me that particular information. So that's a really good way to do it. And again, you can change the duration. If I didn't like that, if I thought that was too quick, I could do it five seconds. And when I do it again, notice it will morph just a little bit more slowly than it did before. Maybe you want that more of a dramatic effect or that kind of hang effect there. You could do that as well. So that's an example of how you could use the morph function.